All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. Today I want to talk to you guys about tagging your fish. I was doing a little research online and uh, one of the things that I've always been curious about is how can I tag my my fish? There's, there's certain fish that I catch that I, I'm very curious as to if they stay in the area that I'm fishing or do they travel off somewhere or have I caught the same fish again? You know, all these little questions that run through your mind as a fisherman. And I came across this thing, uh, this webpage called fishtagger.com. And I looked into it, it seemed pretty cool. And what it is, is it's a website, you buy these little tags, they, they give you an applicator where you can attach these tags. The tags have a, a number that goes to the tag and the website on the little tag. You put these tags onto the onto the dorsal fin or right underneath the dorsal fin of the of the fish that you're gonna catch or that you've caught and you measure it, take take notes of the size, where you caught it, what bait you used, and when you when you get home you go to the internet, you go to the website, type in the information of the fish that you caught and it's there visible for anybody. So if somebody else goes and catches the same fish, they'll find the tag with the website and they can then do the same process. Record the information and go to the website, put where they caught it, and then you'll be tracking this fish as as it, you know, as the process goes on. So I went ahead and I ordered the little package and um, I bought, I think it's 10 tags and the applicator and then I ordered a second set of tags, another 10, so I'm starting out with 20 tags and I think it cost me like $46 or something to that effect. But uh, let me show you what I got and you guys tell me what you think. Alright, so this is what I got in the mail. I got those two little packages and that metal tube right there. It's a hollow metal tube. That's the applicator. As you see, as you can see, it's got a sharpened edge. Let me get back and zoom. It's got a sharpened edge so that the little tag that you see there goes inside of there and you stick it under the skin where the dorsal fin is and and that little barb catches between the bones and it keeps it there and I don't know if you can see it there or not but in the middle it says www.fishtagger.com and then on either side of the tag it has the tag number so this is a pretty cool way to tag your catch and the main reason that I wanted to do this is number one to keep track for myself of the fish that I catch but also I'm kinda hoping that this will kinda scare off people who wanna keep those you know those big flatheads that I catch out there I always release the biggest fish that I catch I don't like to keep them I feel that it's necessary for them to be out creating more generations of fish so I think if they had a little tag on them people might want to let them go and not mess with it so I put a little kit together and I'm going to show you what I have in the kit so let's check that out so I just wanted to show you how this this tagger works this applicator you just slide this in like so and on the dorsal fin they have the they have this the spikes like that and you stick it and you'll actually stick it below the skin and you'll feel that little plastic piece click behind the bone and then you with you withdraw it and the tag will be in place on the fish like so alright so one of the things that I keep in that kit is 
a scale, of course, to weigh the fish. Um, when I was looking for a scale, I've always wanted one that weighs at least up to 100 pounds because I, I always have the hopes of catching a fish, you know, in, in that big range. But I've never really wanted to pay the price for one of those scales. I'm sure if you've priced them yourself, you know they're, they're kind of pricey. And uh, So I was trying to find a way to get, get something that would work equally, but at a, at a lesser cost, of course. So one day by pure chance, I came across what's called a luggage scale. And it's basically the same concept as a fishing scale, except it only cost me 10 bucks. And if you want to see it, here it is right here. It's got it's got the handle as as a fishing scale would, and it has this strap. The only difference is I added this clip so I can tie the stringer with the fish on it to here and weigh it. And this one weighs up to a hundred pounds, as you can see it there. I mean, I'm not going to put a hundred pounds of pressure, of course, but that thing it'll it'll work just as well so if you want to save a little bit of money on buying a, a scale for fishing go down to Walmart or I think I bought this one at Kmart 10 bucks over there where the bags and luggage stuff is so there's there's one of the things that I keep in there is a luggage scale to weigh my fish second thing I keep in that little kit is just one of these roll tapes, the ones that uh, seamstresses use, and it's laminated so it doesn't, it won't get wet. And this one's about, it's about five foot long, so it'll it'll measure any catfish that I catch where I go. So that's another thing that I keep in there. And the the last thing I keep in there is just a notebook. And a pencil write down all your data when you caught it where you caught it water temperature level bait hook size line rig all the stuff you want to put on there and uh, you can log all this st stuff into uh, fishtaggers.com fishtagger.com and keep track of your catch I went down to Walmart and I found this little container it was three bucks. Has this little clip on lid, and that's where I keep all the stuff. Put it in my boat, it won't get wet. This is watertight. So I think this whole kit that I have here is I mean, you're looking at maybe $55 for everything. And like I said, the coolest thing is you'll be able to track your fish. So I'm actually excited to get out there this summer this spring hopefully in a couple weeks i'll be out there fishing and i'll be able to tag my first fish i'm gonna focus on tagging flatheads and like i said keeping track of those and hopefully it'll it'll deter people from from keeping them and encourage them to release them so there's a little tip for you guys if you guys are interested check out fishtagger.com and as always thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time